So, this presentation is on thermoelectric energy conversion! I know, greatest debate of the century. So, the concept of thermoelectric energy conversion comes from two main core principles, the Seebeck effect and the Peltier effect. The Seebeck effect starts with Thomas Johann Seebeck, a German physicist who was really attracted to magnets and started polarizing science for decades to come. He took two metal alloys, one with a lot of electrons and one with less, duct taped them together, heated one side up, and realized that the heat makes both sides different. The way that these sides are different is that one side is very, very, very heated up while one side is very, very, very cooled down. And therefore, the electrons on one side are moving around a lot, while the electrons on another side are moving around a lot less. Which means one side is positive and one side is negative. Basically, heat equals magnet, which equals flow of electrons through magnet, which equals electricity. Shocking, I know. But the inspiration doesn't just stop there, because a person by the name of John Charles Anthony's Peltier got a spark of inspiration and invented the Peltier effect. The Peltier effect says that electricity flowing through metal can cause temperature changes. Electrons use or give off energy whenever jumping from one orbit to the next, so they have a direct connection with temperature, which means jumping electrons causes heat control. That or these concepts are jumping over your head. But now that we know that these concepts exist, doesn't this mean that the possibilities are endless? Now we can just transfer heat into electricity and electricity into heat whenever we want, and how- Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Because although these effects do work, they process at such a slow rate that it's hard to do much without the numbers being wonky. Sorry guys, you tried, but guess it's time to pack up. It's what I would say if I was done, but I'm not! Because people have been finding more and more materials to optimize the process for the Seebeck effect, and trying to balance the need for temperature with the energy taken into this effect, therefore making it possibly much more useful in the future. But time will tell for this one. What we can learn now, however, is one simple thing. Getting heated might spark conflict.